um, what I've been up to this past few months actually it's been two months since I've uploaded a video so <laughs> sorry but you know there's been a lot of things going on anyway I wanted to do a small recap of what happened in this past two months so basically I wrote down a list because you know I love lists so I went to Gyeongju which was really 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 nice I really liked it and like out of all the places that I've been to here, I feel like Kyonju is one like top. I really like it there and it was really nice. Then, that was in June. And then in mid-June, I went to this BTS 5th Muster live play thing I went to. Actually, it was a fail. What happened is that we get there, we wait until like, because there was two sections, there was a live play and the mustard. The mustard was like the actual concert that you, they were actually there. Then the live play was, you know, just, you, there's a huge screen and you just sit there and watch, which is still amazing anyway. Uh, so we ended up, we, we waited because the 30, the cheaper one, the one we got was of course for the TV thing, the huge screen. Anyway, we wait. We, you know, go up to the lady and like, here's a, she's my ticket, here's my ID, blah, blah, blah. And the lady is like, it doesn't match. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? Like, and then he was like, oh, you know, like the name, your ID on your ID card and the name on the ticket has to match. Plenty of things to do if you didn't like manage to get in. There was like people giving out like the photo cards people were like there's, there were like dance groups dancing around that was like really cool <laughs> yeah. it was a really cool experience even though i'm sad i couldn't get in but like you know we'll see in the future um, i might go to the concert in october we'll see then actually june and august I, I would say like kind of the end of June, August season, season August time. Uh, it's rain season here now, so it it gets really really humid because you know it's humid in summer, but also like it rains, so it gets even more humid. It Um, then I went to karaoke night with the school um, and which was really nice, it was really funny there was a lot of people and usually I haven't gone to the activities with the school in a long time but I actually had fun <laughs> I went to the DMZ, which is the demilitarized zone. It's like basically on the border with North and South Korea, and like it's a military, it's a military zone, which is like two kilometers in south and two kilometers in the north. Or like, it's kind of like no man's land, I guess. Anyway, we went there. It was really interesting to see and to learn more about the situation between North and South Korea and yeah and then next part of the video it's gonna be me back in my old hotel room which now i'm in a different hotel room um but it's me talking about my situation being homesick being you know a little bit all over the place but also you know kind of realizing that staying here is gonna be for the best and i'm gonna really like it i'm gonna make the most of it and hopefully you guys like the video you know hopefully you guys like it and understand mostly under you know that's the most important thing that you guys understand what i'm trying to say because sometimes i can be a little bit confusing because i have so many things that i want to say but like you know, it's just my Aquarius self and my dyslexic self coming out and being like, you know, also my hair is greasy. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a mess right now. I had just like the Ed Sheeran song in my head. Recommend me something that I should do. Like videos idea, video ideas. Since I'm going to be like here and, you know, 
I'm not gonna be busy with school. What should I do? Is there anything that like you guys are interested in Korea or about me? I'm mostly Korea because you know I'm a human being, yes I'm interesting, I guess, but you know Korea is more interesting. So if yeah, you can just leave a comment, leave a like, maybe share with your friends. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Slightly better. Why did I want to talk about my ears? So I've been here for almost seven months now and it's great. I love it. I love Korea. I love it here. I, you know, still going, I'm taking my course still and, and I love it here. It's so nice. Like, you know, I'm independent on my own and like I'm learning Korean and even though it's difficult, it just gives me a constant headache. <laughs> Uh, I you know I just like it here a lot and but at the same time being here on my own I've learned a lot of things about myself and you know last time I had this breakdown <laughs> it was just the beginning wow I've no I've been here for like a long time and you know, on my own I used to be in a host family and now I moved to uh, hotel room not because nothing was wrong with my host family. I still love them to death. They're amazing people It's just I needed my time alone. I wanted to be on my own even though I'm not technically on my own You know, I have a roommate with me my friend. I love her. She's so nice and like the fact that we clicked and became like really close friends in a sor short amount of time scares me <laughs> And like, you know, it's kind of like, it makes me like suspicious. I, a while back, I was like, I'm good. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna, cause I have some unfinished business back home that I have to do. And I'm gonna, I feel like I've learned a lot being here. And, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go home finish my stuff that I have to finish, start university. Meh. Anyway, I keep touching my hair because I don't know what to talk about. I don't know. I know what to talk about. I don't know. I just don't know how to. Go home in August, figure my stuff out and start, you know, in this chapter of university or whatever. And I was really like motivated and I was like this is the right thing I was talking to my friends and I was like do you think I should go home should I not go home blah 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 and like most of my friends and people that I talked to were like I feel you know if you want to go home go home part of me still wants to go home but um after talking a lot with my mom and uh, some other friends uh, I'm gonna stay here until December and the thought of staying here until December scares me to death I want to like <laughs> another thing that is like <sighs> is finding what to do here for the next four, mo four months yeah basically for, from August so like the end of August or so September October November and then early December going back home so like three months what do I do? I don't know. I don't know what I could do. Also, I hope I look okay because I feel like I look horrible. So, what I was trying to say is that I'm going to stay here until December. And I... Do I look... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay here. Like, part of me is like, yes. Accomplish that one year abroad dream and become more fluent in Korean. Which, you know, I'm... I'm at the point now that I understand a lot 
and like people talk to me and I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, I understand. And like I can read and I understand. Speaking is one of the last things that you do or you learn or you more become comfortable with. I remember learning English and I feel like those that one year, one year and a half that I was learning English, I was the most quiet person <laughs> you could ever meet. Um, but you know, I like to think that it's like, oh, I'm like listening to everyone and all the things they say and then my brain just stores it in. So then when one day I'm just gonna wake up and be like, I speak English now and like, look at me because I've been listening to you all the time. I feel like with Korean it's gonna be longer because, you know, it's completely different from any language I know. I do have fun going out, but like my brain is just like in this weird thing where it's just like tired, exhausted, lost, or not even lost, it's just kind of like stuck in there. And I don't like feeling like that because that's how I felt like the whole time I was in my senior year of high school. Uh, it's not a good space. Well, I remember having like breakdowns and crying, and the way like the way I cry is really quiet, and like I don't want to tell show people that I'm crying. And you know I would film my breakdowns on my phone for some fucking reason. I feel like I needed to talk some to someone, but I was not ready to actually talk to an actual human being so instead of writing down because you know i remember being in the place where like i was just like having breakdowns crying before falling asleep and being like i'm never gonna find a way i'm like i'm never gonna do anything in life i'm not good at anything i feel like while i was having all these breakdowns i realized a lot of things more things about myself like the fact that I want to become an entertainer I want to like entertain people show people interact with people which is so weird because I usually <laughs> I hate people when I was a kid I was really outgoing entertaining people I'd be like with my friends I'd be like creating choreographies and like dance around and like have this old like I would create plays and stuff I was all into that my teenage years arrived and I was just mm -mm -mm. people scared going outside being myself I was too scared I was too anxious I was and even now a lot of times I find myself going back to like I'm scared I don't want to do anything but like I've slowly started to become more of myself like which is the version of me when I was younger because younger me was happy and more like I don't care what people say about me I was thinking of maybe taking some dance classes but you know my anxiety is going through the roof so I'm like <laughs> if you actually do see me doing dance classes just know that I took me a lot of mental energy my family, well, well, my, family my mom and my little sister and my stepdad are coming to see me in October. I've not been in a good mindset, so I'm sorry. And I'm going to try to post more. I'm going to maybe try to do like some vlogs of like what I do like after my course ends and also like stuff like that. So we'll see. And Mina, that's pretty much it. Bye.